when the boy was born, like all Spartans, he was inspected. If he'd been small or puny, or sickly or misshapen, he would have been discarded. From the time he could stand, he was baptized in the fire of combat, taught never to retreat, never to surrender, toward the death on the battlefield in service to Sparta was the greatest glory he could achieve in his life. All his 40 years have been a straight road to this one gleaming moment in destiny. Oh, King Leonidas! This one radiant clash of shield and spear, sword and bone and flesh and blood. His only regret is that he has so few to sacrifice. Is this all of them? As you ordered, 300. We march for our lands, for our families, for our freedoms. We march for honor's sake, for duty's sake, for glory's sake, we march. They are the hunters of men's souls. They cannot be killed or defeated. Not this darkness. Not these immortals. Immortals. We'll put their name to the test. We fight as a single, impenetrable unit. That is the source of our strength. Hold! Each Spartan takes the man to his left, thigh to neck with a shield. A single weak spot and the phalanx shatters. It isn't wise to stand against me, Leonidas. Imagine what horrible fate awaits my enemies when I would gladly kill any of my own men for victory. And I would die for any one of mine. This is where we hold them! This is where we fight! This is where they die! Remember this day, for it will be yours for all time! You still here? Somebody's gotta watch your back. Spartans! Better your breakfast and eat hot. But tonight, we die in hell! This is blasphemy. This is madness! Madness. This is Sparta! Only the hard and strong may call themselves Spartans. Only the hard. No mercy! Only the strong. No retreat. No surrender. That is Spartan law. And by Spartan law, we will stand and fight and die. A new age has begun. Then what must a king do to save his world when the very laws he is sworn to protect force him to do nothing? It is not a question of what a Spartan citizen should do, nor a husband, nor a king. Instead, ask yourself, my dearest love, what should a free man do? You fight for your lands. Keep them. You fight for Sparta. She will be wealthier and more powerful than ever before. You fight for your kingship. You will be proclaimed warlord of all Greece, answerable only to the one true master of the world. Leonidas, your victory will be complete. If you but lay down your arms and kneel to holy Xerxes. And all who know that 300 Spartans gave their last breath to defend it. It's been more than 30 years since the wolf in the winter cold. And now, as then, it's not fear that grips him, only restlessness. A heightened sense of things. It's an honor. Die at your side. We are with you, sire! For Sparta! For freedom! To the death! It's an honor to have lived at yours. My queen! Goodbye, my love. 
He doesn't say it. My, my wife. There's no room for softness. Not in Sparta. No place for weakness. My love. But from pre-Greek to pre-Greek, the word was spread that bold Leonidas and his 300, so far from home, laid down their lives, not just for Sparta, but for all Greece and the promise this country holds.